A common request I see with patients is um, reducing the size or width of the patient's nose. Um, I'm Dr Mark Doyle, specialist plastic surgeon. Today I'm going to talk about how to manage people with wide noses. Now the nose in my mind consists of two parts. The first, the top half of the nose um, is the bony area. And it runs from between the eyes down until the nose starts to wobble. So on me, that's, my, that's the bony part of my nose. The lower half of the nose is all made out of cartilage. There's no bone down there at all. And the best way to, to uh, narrow that is the, the problem with the ailers or the, the spit of tissue on the side of the nose. So there are two things to change uh, in order to make a nose more narrower. The first is to deal with the, the bony part of the nose, if that's the bit that's wide. Um, I commonly would do those uh, procedures together because most people have a wide nose both with the bones and with the, the nostrils. Um, this is called a rhinoplasty for the whole procedure. An aloplasty is the, the medical term to those patients that just need to have the nostrils narrow but nothing to do with the, the bony nose. I see this commonly after broken noses. I see it as a result of ethnicity and um, some gen genetics. Um, lots of different reasons why the nose may be wide, but it make, can make a big difference to a person's appearance if it's treated. If you have problems with a wide nose, please make the time to come and see me. I'd be happy to discuss the options open to you.